Hello and welcome to Yaga. Today we're going to install the Play radiator. The Play is a low water content radiator with a wooden case in. So firstly, after checking the wall is suitable for to hang the radiator on, we're going to mark the position of the radiator. In this instance we just used some masking tape so we don't mark the finished wall. The dimensions for the bracket centres are, are shown on the fitting instructions. It's important when hanging the radiator to make sure you get sufficient clearance underneath the radiator to allow for the convection through the element. Once you've marked the positions for the holes, you need to drill the appropriate size hole. In this case, we're going to be drilling an 8mm hole to suit the nylon rule plug fixings. If you were fixing the radiator to a stud wall, you may use different fixings, but your local hardware supplier should be able to advise on what's required. Once you fit the wall plugs in this case, you need to put in the coach bolts just so they stick out about 10mm so that you can hang the brackets. Before you can hang the brackets, of course, you need to remove them from the casing. This is done by undoing the Allen key bolts in the top of the casing that holds the casing to the top of the brackets. This will give you the assembly of the brackets and heat exchanger that can then be fitted to the bolts that you've just fitted to the wall. Once you've hung the brackets, drop over the horseshoe washers and tighten the bolts accordingly. So once you've got your brackets tightly fixed to the wall, it's time to fit the valves. The valve comes with the play and it's a combined TRV and lock shield in one body. So firstly you take the tails off the valve, the same as you would with any other radiator valve. Just apply a couple of wraps of PTFE tape and fit them to the lower two connections on the heat exchanger. These need to be done sufficiently tight to avoid leaks. And once you've finished just drop your decorator's cap back on top of the element so you've got it for the future.
Once you've fitted the valves and done all your pipe work, it's time to fit the head, which is part of the casing. So firstly, we've got to get the adapter out of the box and undo the tape that's holding the capillary to the casing. This capillary then needs to be unwound slightly to suit your installation requirement and attached to the M30 threaded adapter. And this simply pushes together and twists in a quarter turn to lock it in place. Once the adapter is fitted, the valve, the adapter can then be screwed onto the TRV body itself. It's easiest if you turn the TRV dial all the way up to the highest setting to allow for maximum movement on the spring before you attach it to the valve. For neatness, it's always worth just clipping the capillary back together to ensure it doesn't get damaged or pinched during the installation of the casing itself. So apply a slight pressure downwards onto the top of the valve and then do the nut up by hand. Once you've got that connected, you can then fit the casing back onto the elements and brackets. And this simply lifts onto the bracket and drops down and then you tighten through the top grill with the grub screws that were provided that you took out during the initial phase of the installation. Once the screws are tight, that will be the completed installation of the Yaga Play Radiator.